Hello Galaxy Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Galaxy. Today we want to take a look at the update and what happened to our Galaxy Star event. Um, as usual, before we do this, I want to use the opportunity and um, do some other stuff. I really do like the new crew recruit system that we do get now some guaranteed epic or legendary crew is really great. As you see, I still need to get 18 more. I do have 33, so this will guarantee me one additional epic or legendary crew member. And if I compare it to before, yes, I do still get green ones, but I'm pretty convinced that I do get less green crew members or crew cards than I had before. Um, you can check my old videos. There were so many fully green um, recruit um, events. And now these days I always have some other things. I didn't get a single recruit by 10 um, where I didn't get um, anything blue or purple. So let me know how you think it is for you. Um, I know that before we were only recruiting five crew members, so we are now recruiting 10. This is for sure different. Um, but we do also get now this guaranteed, let's see, what do we get? Uh, Justin. Um, so we get 10 additional uh, Justin ID cards. And at the end, this will allow me to rank up some of my crew members, hopefully. What else do we have? Um, I don't get many or honestly, I nearly get no secret prototype devices anymore. Um, meaning they are now mainly for purchasing via um, Corium. But um, yeah, I guess we got our flagships too fast for at least how um, Camel was looking at it. Here on server 2, we do have another national treasure hunt event, um, the pay to win event. So you get points when you buy Corium. Um, you do get all these nice rewards and the more people from your alliance buy Corium, the more of these chests inside here, uh, there will get unlocked up to the last chest um, where you do get these um, yeah, temporary 15 day um, skins that give you some additional bonus. So, um, yeah, what else do we have? Individual missions can be done, something simple like in this case, kill space pirates. But that was not the reason why we came here. We wanted to take a look at the um, at Galaxy Star. Sorry, we still have the first standard five phases um they be they will be random there's a construction phase construction and technology there's a kill pirate phase a gather phase um build warship phase and then the last phase the phase five always is the same the phase five is the kill event phase and now we do have phase six sprint let's take a look at the sprint phase it's a very interesting phase you do get points for defeating um, yeah, spaceships rank 5 or higher. So that's exactly the same as phase 5, the kill event phase. Um, that's an additional day for that. But you do also get points for killing pirates. And you do get points for destroying space relics. And you do get points for military expansion. Um, Kill Pirate Space Relict is one of the phases one to four. Manufacturer Spaceships is a second of these phases one to four. And surprise, surprise, there's also a gather and a construction. So the last phase, phase six, is combining all five phases in one additional phase. Um, it only lasts one day. So it started today. We have 17 hours left. and um, it is it is interesting. Um, I don't really know why Camel added it. Um, I think it's nice. So if you have always the last phase, now the sprint event. So this is something we have to check in the next few 
events. If the last place is always print, this means it will be much easier, especially for high level players, to time their construction. Because the construction, as soon as you get a um, higher level, and um, you do have, um, here's the last one, and you do have six days or 10 days construction time, um, you time it for the first or the second day, and then the construction phase is the third day, you lose a lot of points. So this way we could, at least for construction, always time it on the last phase. Um, Sure, all together, um, you can send out your fleets depending on your time zone, easy or not so easy. You can send them out that they return in the last phase again, especially um, if phase five, yeah, phase five is always killed. So you can get some additional points there. Manufacturing spaceships, that usually doesn't take longer than 24 hours. And pirates also not. So the only huge advantage I see there is um, that we can time it for the assumption that phase six is always sprint, that they don't start mixing this phase somewhere in between. If this is the case, I do think this is really nice. Um, I don't really think it will change a lot. Um, let's take a look at the total ranking, which we know is mainly defined by phase five. And as you can see here, we do have players with 136 million points and um, that's three times as much as the players here on five. Um, some of you already know I stopped participating in this event because um, honestly it is a pure kill event meaning you run around the map and you kill weaker players. Um, not the best to make myself popular and um, yeah, so I stopped this and um, leave it to other players. For sure, the Galaxy Star event itself now is much more valuable with the um, reset coming in. Not for the pace ranking, though also the pace rewards for the new pace are, yeah. Um, but for the total ranking, you still get up to 200 blueprints for the Titan. And um, we do know that we very likely will get a flagship reset event, similar as Server 1 already had it. And then all these Titan blueprints can be exchanged for Advanced Federation credits, and you can buy whatever blueprints you want from that. So um, with this in mind, I think the Galaxy Star event is even more interesting, just because of these additional um, blueprints you can get and then you can later exchange them in the trade center in the trade center under blueprints for any legendary blueprints that you um, want to buy so instead of titan blueprints um, i would for example buy cyclops blueprints um, but yeah so that's what i see so far um the other event um, is already over. I'm really looking forward for that to come back again. Um, it was not very strategically, but um, it was somehow fun. Also, um, the times for the fights were really short, so um, this was nice. Some players um, told me that I should check the um, time that it takes now to kill pirates. And this is amazing. They really reduced this time a lot. The flight time still seems to be the same, so it takes quite some time for your ships to arrive there. But um, as soon as the fight starts, um, these numbers go down so crazily quick. Um, that is really, really nice. So yeah, let me know what you think about the new pace in the Galaxy Star event. Um, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and then I'll see you all on the next video again.